In this video, I will teach you how to make animated fireflies in Blender using the render engine Eevee. We're not going to make them blink, because I think the consistent light looks better for a scene. And as always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing S to scale up the default cube, and then press S, then Z to scale it on the z-axis, then press Shift A and add a plane, and then press S to scale up the plane, and this is going to be our particle emitter for the lights. And then we go into the particle settings, create a new particle system. And then I'm going to set the number to 200, which should be enough for this scene. And to make all the particles emit immediately, we set the end value to 1. And then set the lifetime to however long you want the animation to last. If you want the uh, fireflies to stay throughout the whole animation. And then for the velocity normal, I'm just going to set it to zero. And we will add the physics later. And then for the physics, let's set the mass to three. And the mass doesn't have to be accurate, of course, because you can just change the mass and strength of the wind later. And then for the render, I'm going to set it to the light. So we're going to uh, set the uh, lights as the uh, particles. And then for the field weights, we're going to remove the gravity. And we're doing this so that we can control the uh, physics ourselves using wind and uh, various force objects. So press Control S and save before we continue. You can save it where we want on the computer. And then press Shift A and then go down to uh, force. We're going to start off by adding some wind and then go into the wind settings. And let's set the strength to 0 0.001 and then the flow to zero. And then we add some noise to add some variability to the movement of the fireflies on the z-axis. Okay, and then we want them to move on the X and Y axis as well. So let's just increase the length of the animation. And then press Shift A. And this time we're going to add a uh, turbulence force field. And then press G, then set to grab it on the Z axis. And then next we need to go into the uh, turbulence settings and set the strength to 0.1 to just add some slight movement on the X and Y axis. And if you want the fireflies to move faster, you can just increase these values that we just entered. And as you can see, they uh, tend to accelerate because there's no gravity and only force. So what I'm going to do to end the acceleration is to keyframe the strength of the wind and then in the next frame just end it. So uh, let's press I to keyframe the strength and then we can go to the next frame and then set the strength value to zero so that uh, the fireflies stop accelerating. And then you can just uh, save one more time if you want to. And then next I'm going to drag the top right corner of the window and uh, Let's go into the shader editor and delete the principal shader, press shift A, and then we're going to add the principal volume and then connect volume to volume. And inside the principal volume node, we're only going to edit two values. The first one is the anisotropy value and that concentrates the light and increasing the density value sort of adds a uh, foggy look to the scene. And when we decrease the anisotropy value, you can see that the light becomes less concentrated. So we're just going to keep it at one. And then we need to decrease the power. So let's set it to 300 milliwatts. And by enabling custom distance and increasing the custom distance, we'll be able to see the uh, light further away from the light. And you can of course add whatever color you want to the fireflies. 
And then next, we're going to go into the render settings and let's set the number of samples to 100, which should be enough. And then more importantly, we need to set the uh, volumetric tile size to either four or two. A uh, smaller tile size means that the fireflies become more detailed, but it's also going to result in uh, longer render times. So uh, keep that in mind. And then I'm going to save one more time, save as. Okay, so now we have the animation and the uh, lighting set up. So I'm just going to uh, play the animation and uh, pause around 500 and set up the camera. So uh, let's set it up around here. And then to move the camera to your current point of view, you just press Control Alt Numpad 0 and then press N. And then we're going to lock the camera to view so that we can move the camera freely. So I'm going to set it around here, which is going to look nice. And then next, in the light settings, I'm going to increase the distance of the light. Now next, we need to hide the emitter, which is the plane. So uh, let's select the plane. You can do it in the top right corner. And then go into the particle settings. And then under render, you can uh, disable show emitter. And then next, we're going to go into the output settings. And then let's set the frame rate to uh, 30 FPS. And then in the uh, particle settings, I'm also going to uh, bake the uh, particles. So uh, let's go into the particle settings. And then under cache, you can click bake. And uh, then we make sure that everything is baked, even if we start at a later frame for the render, which we're going to do. And then for the resolution, I'm going to set it to 4K, because this recording is 4K. You don't have to, you can just leave it at 100 for a 1080p render. And I'm going to start the animation at frame 470, set the compression to 90%. And then for the uh, output, you can just create a, a new folder wherever you want on the computer. And then you can save those renders in that folder. So just give the animation a name. And now we can get ready to render. So uh, let's just save one more time. Go back to solid view and then go to render and then render animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And more Blender tutorials coming very soon.